The reason why incisional hernias develop is because after any incision from surgery, the abdomen or the area of the incision only heals around 80%. So because of that, it's an, it's an area of inherent weakness. Uh, what happens is that when you cut through the fascia and you cut through the abdominal muscles, when it's only healed 80%, pressure from either the inside or the area around the hernia can cause the scar or the abdominal wall to tear and this forms incisional hernia. Now incisional hernias come in all different types. There are some that are as small as the hernias that develop in laparoscopic port sites hernias and there are ones that also develop when you have very large laparotomy incisions. So incisional hernias could be simple procedures or they could be extremely complex especially if they result after a prior hernia repair. Now, symptoms for these hernias vary, but they're very much like hernia symptoms. Abdominal pain, visible bulge. The only difference is it's over the area of the scarring. And in terms of surgical repair, when you want to fix these, it's usually when you have symptoms, but if the hernia is very bothersome, especially when you have a physical bulge, that's the reason to get it fixed. But whenever we do incisional hernia repairs, it's always a good idea to not only look at the area of the hernia itself, but the, to assess the whole patient as a person to figure out what is the best approach to the patient management and care.